with Selena Tan, who is the founder of Dream Academy. Now it's pretty amazing that in nine years, the it's managed to evolve into this this really like biggish company, I suppose, I, I, I with think, like a whole stable of staff. Yeah, I think what's really more amazing about me is that um, I, I never intended for this to happen. I mean, really, when I started the the company in 2000, uh, it was really just to do like my own like one woman stand up shows because I was doing a couple of them a year, and I just thought, okay, I need a company to help tie this whole thing together. And then one thing. I don't know, led to another, we had Tim Sam Dollies, uh, suddenly written Tim Sam Dollies, and then that became you know, one of our stable, and then uh, Sebastian came home from uh, uh, London, yeah. uh, and I, we, we worked on this Broadway big thing, and then suddenly there was that, and then last year, like, Robin, my, my good friend from JC, decided to do the Happy Robin, yeah. then we had that, and then after a while, it's like crazy Christmas happened, and then it's just, everything snowballed, and then I've just been so lucky to be surrounded by such talented people who are very generous, and yeah. who are really my very close friends, so most times like if I hang out with them for like dinner or supper or whatever it's almost inevitable that a new idea comes out what? yeah and so it's like then you know we, we, we kind of feel like oh we, we want to work on it and we want to do something as well yeah well it's been going from strength to, thre- to strength I mean uh, considering that you know uh, uh, theatre is quite a volatile industry to be in I, I've seen like companies come and go but yours seems to be thriving and getting mm. bigger what is your formula so to speak I, I, I mean I think the formula is quite clear. I mean, we, we I realized very early on that uh, Singapore Singapore is a very, well, it's a tough city to live in. Um, there's, the red race is on constantly. We live in very tight proximity to each other. Uh, people go to work, they live very, we, you know, it, it, it's quite a tough life. You know? And so um, the thing that, that people most look forward to is it's just a chance to relax for an hour and a half, two hours, and just no frills. I mean, no, no, no big, you know, like thought thinking process, you know, kind of like, you just want good clean humor and that has a little has a lot of heart in it yeah. you know and that that's all people want just just truthful humor yeah. i think yeah would you say that you're also apart from being a very good comedian like a fairly shrewd businesswoman <laughs> Uh, I think I probably picked it up from my my parents. I mean, I mean, my, my dad and my mom. They, I mean, through the years, I think growing up, I, without my realizing it, even like subconsciously picking up things that they taught me. You know, how to see things from different perspectives, uh, how to understand what the bottom line is, how to, and, and also my legal training has come in handy because, in just in terms of uh, structuring my thought process and organizing things, you know, I, I have that base to, to fall back on. This year in July, he's going to be joining the dream team and he. He's going to be in a brand new musical that we're all working on called... Sing Dollar. Sing Dollar. And, um, and of course, I'm playing a construction worker. Can you... Uh, no, no, I, Bangladesh. Uh, yeah, but you know, a little bit more, uh, not so glamorously yeah, dressed like this. <laughs> a construction worker who moonlights at night washing uh, plates at the Big Fun store in Geelang. Uh, so you'll be sure to catch Kuma then as well. I'm playing man, uh, so please watch. Hey, lower a bit, uh, your voice came up. I'm playing a man, so I am really dragging this night. Yeah, really dragging. Okay, without dragging it out any further, we've got another big, big star to announce to you. First time that he's going to be in a Dream Academy show. Um, he is going to be in our musical Sing Dollar. And uh, please help me welcome right now Mr. Najib Ali. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, hey, Najib. Uh, so uh, we well, we just did a little script read yesterday of Sing Dollar already, yes, and yes. Uh, Najib found out for the first time that uh, for his first appearance on stage yes. in many many years, he's going to be wearing the dress. Ah, uh, because I'm doing the musical because what the government say you have to upgrade yourself, go for training, you know what I mean? Acquire new skill. So yeah, the workforce development agency doesn't have this course. So I entered Dream Academy, Academy some more, and I'm going to learn how to wear heels and wear dresses from the special there, and I'm going to be a machi, okay? Now, uh, this is not an ordinary machi, because the machi will be surrounded by all these fools around, and uh, I'm not going to be machi, I'm going to be a party also. Voila, she really knows how to throw her weight around. Huh? I tell you, when you hire one person, you must squeeze okay, them okay. for everything they have. Party, party, all. Yeah, so I'm going to be a party also. So, uh, but your party is from uh, which which country? Uh, At the moment, we are exploring yeah. a few countries. Uh. That's right. Yeah, so. Uh, Papua May- New Guinea or Iran, right? No. <laughs> No, 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 no,
Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Nancy Bali. And also joining us this year for Sing Dollar, we have Lin Kei Siu. Ah, this is from Thailand. Hello, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Plays the father in our show, and he's got some deep dark secrets. Yes, uh, when I told Swilin uh, about I was going to play this role, she said, Oh, degenerate gambler and drinker. Uh. Good luck, so you play yourself so very easy. <laughs> la. <laughs> but he's going to be supported by two guys who are really veterans in the musical theatre scene, just like him. Uh, he's playing his two sons. Please welcome now, Jose Leong, his first son. Jose. Ah. You must like more more dramatic a bit lah. Ah, okay. And Hosan, Hosan is playing a very typical character that you might recognize in you know amongst your friends or family members. He's a financial planner. Yeah. So he might be calling you in the audience very soon. I just met a financial planner just now. No, really? Must do research now. Later must call him up. Hosan, where's your friend? Suzanne's friend. I think in these times the financial planner ran away already. Anyway, and supporting him we have Sebastian Tan as the beat for Fun Man. Sebastian. Hey, Jose, Jose, hello. Ah, so your beat for Fun how? Ah, fry until you are going to go go Gelang ah, go Gelang and check out. I always go Gelang also. Yeah. This kind of thing you want to tell people? Ah, yeah, you all go Gelang lah. You all go Gelang. Huh? Really never lah. They club key kind of people. Yeah. Club key ah, bocah bocah fun eh. So anyway, I'm bringing I'm bringing Sebastian down next week to Geylang to go and check out the beef or fun recipe and see if he can cook for us exactly the same thing because that's what he's playing on In Sing Dollar the musical and also supporting this cast of men. I want to say that I saw your skirt, but this supporting this cast of men, we have my two friends. Please give it up for my fellow Tim Sum Dollies, Emma and Pam. The show is set in Geylang, uh, and it's all about money. Yeah. So these two girls have very important roles. Yes. Uh, first, we start with uh, uh, Pam. Yes. Pam. Can you tell us what role you're playing? Yes, please. Um, my name is Glory, and uh, my sir and my mom they're having difficult times. So they say they want to keep me in Singapore, but that's no problem. I can live with them, but I have to go and earn my own money. So I have to go to Geylang and maybe open my legs a little bit. I'm not sure yet, but uh, yeah. So I can do also iron for you. Wanna open my legs? So up to you. It's just extra five dollars. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Mama Glory. Morning, Glory. Hello. Yes. Thank you, Ben. And um, and now uh, Emma, Emma over there. Uh, uh will be uh, playing a. Uh, really uh, I am also a prostitute, but I think I have to change country. You change country? Yes, please, sister. Yeah, you you see my face, you know. I have to ask. Actually, I don't want, but they forced me. They forced me to be. They also forced me because I'm proud. My skin is thin, so they always make me Filipino. Always. And if you want to find out. Okay, I'm with Michaela Therese, who in a while uh, you you heard her singing that very beautiful song. Now, like, how long have you been singing? Uh, professionally for eight years already. Eight years? How come I, we don't know about you? Uh, a lot of people ask me that question. I think I like tend to just stay under the radar for a bit because I uh, I mostly just because I sing and play and um, like what you saw just now. I've actually been doing timber for a long time. I did like swing back in the day, like when it was like one of the best jazz clubs. But I think for the most part, I've stayed out of the media eye. So that's probably why you've never like you haven't heard of me till now. But when how did Selena like find you? Actually, I knew Pam from a while back, and um, the other tips of Dolly, and she was the one who asked me to be part of the Crazy Christmas concert last year. So that's when I met all the guys, and it was just fantastic, fabulous. They're such great people. So yeah, so. Oh, you have an amazing boy voice. Did you train or? No, I have no vocal training actually. Uh, I'm only trained uh, in the piano, but not vocally. And do you like besides the song that you sang just now? Have you written a lot of other songs? I have tons of originals. I'm actually I'm actually recording right now. So it's brilliant. Yeah. So we're we're hoping for the album to come out by the end of the year. So by the end of the year. My album should be out, so then I guess more people would. Oh yeah, you need to come on our show and sing, okay? Yes, yes, for sure. Please, yeah, get me back. <laughs> so it began my very long-term thing. Cause nothing, nothing, nothing compares to 
that swing. Now can call an overwising elephant's tail to Sammy Davis, Sarah Vaughan, and that is just to name a few. Now Grandpa said, what do you do if you want to learn to play like the king? You should start, and so I did, by listening to that swing. When you hear that To go and you get those butterflies. Things must change now and then, but everybody hates goodbyes. So I think of my gramps and the joy his music brings. Cause nothing, nothing, nothing compares to that swing. Voila! It's Razor Bob Lab!